uh, the slap heard around the world. Yeah, Chris Rock and Will Smith. Um, two guys that I think are pretty awesome in their own ways, you know, but uh, that's uh, not the point of this video. This is an example of exactly what's going on out there, and I'm going to tell you we're going to use zero participation and zero tolerance, and we're going to talk about the frequencies going on. This is such a prime example spiritually of what's not only just going on, what happened at the Oscars when... Uh, Will Smith smacked Chris Rock right on the stage, but what's actually happening out in the world right now, there is no difference between the two. I'm going to demonstrate this because I'm going to ask you if maybe you're still in that old way of response and lower frequency. This is pretty cool. I think you're going to love this. Who won? Ah, we'll talk about that. Let's go. on YouTube here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Finally, something happens that isn't so crazy serious, okay? A dispute, a small one, relatively speaking, between Chris Rock, the presenter at the Oscars, and Will Smith, who was up for Best Actor and happened to win. All right, what happened? Well, we're gonna talk about and break this down because I want you to know that this could be going on with you and you don't even know it. It's definitely going on on a much bigger scale in the world right now. And that is the first reaction, the first action that we take. If we are not thoughtful and caring about the other, I always talk about the other, then we put ourselves in a position of what? Low frequency, and that opens us up to potentially negative responses. So we ta I've talked about zero participation and zero tolerance, and this is a prime example because I'm gonna show you how it was used in a way that wasn't, let's just say, most effective. The first thing is Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett, hair being bald and made a joke about, you know, he looked forward to seeing her in the next G.I. Jane movie. Well, G.I. Jane, uh, Demi Moore played that in a movie where she had to shave her head. Well, Jada is bald now. The reason why she's bald is she's been losing her hair and this has been a very, you know, you know, intense uh, situation for her, and she's talked about it. Finally, she just shaved her head bald and she showed up at the Oscars that way. First thing, not considering maybe the pain or, you know, how she's feeling about this condition that she has no control over at the time. He makes, Chris Rock makes a joke, looking forward to see you in the next G.I. Jane movie. Now, when that happened, there were two responses. Jada rolled her eyes and looked not very happy. And Will Smith actually laughed at the joke until he saw Jada's response, at which time, he marched up on the stage, hauled off, and smacked Chris Rock. So that was our first engagement was Chris Rock made a joke at the expense of somebody else, and there was sensitivity there that he would know. So how many times do we do this? We don't know what's going on in somebody else's life. So if they're in a low frequency, get ready. If you go to pet a dog and it has been abused, it's probably gonna bite you. It doesn't know that you are going to pet it, right? And it doesn't see any kind of contact as good. But that's exactly what happened. When you, even if you have, you know, some happy intentions, are firing off at somebody else, you have no idea where they are in their frequency, mentally, whatever else is going on there. People that are in fear are very unhappy are going to respond totally different. Will did laugh whether he thought the joke was funny or not. He still responded in a manner that was neutral, okay? He didn't get engaged in what was, I think, a very insensitive joke. However, he didn't lose his sense of humor. Jada did because it's really close to home. It's her he's making a joke about. So Will then has a dynamic with Jada and goes to her defense. 
but he has to do it in a big way in front of everybody. Don't you talk about my wife like that and write on television. By the way, because I have a friend who was watching it in Texas who's taking care of her mother, we were online watching it together. I never watched this stuff. I happened to see it live and I said, she said, was that staged? I said, no, it was real. You could tell it was real because the censors had to block the sound out because Will started screaming and swearing. So they now are reacting in a negative way. The response was not zero participation. <clears throat> so there was a zero tolerance there, right? A zero tolerance. But what Will Smith did actually placed him in a lower position. He didn't go into zero participation. He absolutely responded in an even worse way. This is how we stay in wars and conflict. Because if somebody does something inappropriate that's going on right now in other parts of the world, if we have a response that is equally or worse than that person, look who, look who came out smelling pretty much like roses, Chris Rock. Because after he got smacked, he never went into that negative space. He didn't continue to attack, say anything, or hit him back or do anything. In fact, he made another joke saying, this is the biggest event on television ever. <laughs> it probably will be. And uh, made a joke and, and kept the show going. They didn't even break. H how did he do that? He went into a space, I think, of course, there's a response in there where if you're in a low frequency, then you're going to flip over, and he could have gone into anger and whatever, and participated in zero tolerance, but the no participation, he would have participated in a negative response. And he went into zero tolerance and zero participation, both of them. He didn't tolerate it. it he responded in a way that's saying, you know, oh, that wasn't cool. But he used it, and he didn't participate with an even lower response than Will did. So therefore, everyone is praising Chris Rock. Not because he did a horrible joke, but because he absolutely never went into the negative space that could have made that situation really, really bad. In fact, he was laughing, got, kept going, and everybody thinks the guy is pretty cool right now. What happened there? This is what happens every day with us. You don't know if you're petting an abused dog. You don't know if that dog comes from a space of really unhappiness and, and defensiveness. You don't know if that dog's going to bite you or not. So you have to be careful. You have to be cautious when you go in, even if you have good intentions. Chris had good intentions. He was trying to make a joke, maybe make light of that, when actually it just was hurtful for Jada because Jada's lost her sense of humor right now. You know. It's, it's uh, understandable, right? What are we doing? I want you to remember when you can hold your, hold your own on the high frequency, no matter what that other uh, space does, if somebody participates in a reaction or anything, if they are the perpetrator of the bad joke or the whatever they do to you, your response is critical because it stops there. That whole incident stopped after the slap. And it could have gone way over. In fact, Chris Rock said he is not filing charges. And that's another typical boomerang effect, right? We're always, oh, let's sue them. And that's the old world. Sue everybody. Get money for something that they did bad. I think Chris Rock understood what was going on and where that all came from. So there's some compassion there. And I think Chris Rock realized that he started it even though his intentions were not to, I think, harm. Now, so many dynamics going on in this, right? This is what happens, and I want to ask you, because some of you have told me this, the same old argument you have with a spouse will keep coming up because the responses are the same. The person, the Chris Rock role, says something insensitive, not realizing you know, what, that, what the possible uh, repercussions of that could be or the hurt it's inflicting. But their intentions may not be bad, right? Sometimes they are, but that's okay. Let's say no matter what, the, res the comment's the comment. The response is usually the same old attack back 
the argument, and it keeps going. The planet has functioned like that. If we can go into the zero participation, and you guys have been writing me and said that you didn't participate. When it happened again, you didn't participate. And zero tolerance means it's not okay that you did that. So I'm either going to tell you that that hurt my feelings, or you walk away and you don't even participate or tolerate it at all. Even physically, you have no presence there. This is what changes things. This is, I see, going on in many ways around the world to a lot of conflict that's happening right now. We're not participating and reacting in the same way we usually were, which is worse than the perpetrator, right? We don't want to go in that space. Now, we'll see what happens here, but we have to send our prayers out to the planet that we're going to learn how to be like a Chris Rock, even if we make mistakes. That response, we learn from it. Wow, that was insensitive. I didn't realize that Jada is not feeling okay about that. Instead of feeling like, okay, I'm bald, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to be proud about it and, you know, and help other women who are going through this hair loss thing or whatever, which she's doing. But she's lost her sense of humor. People go into dark places and we want to we wanna reach out to them with compassion. We don't want to take the needle and poke an open wound. And that's what Chris did. So, not intentionally, I'm sure, because he seems to be a pretty good guy. I don't know him personally. But I saw a very uh, high-frequency response to what he knew he started. I want you to think about this because you can apply those principles. Now, the funny thing about this, not really funny, but the really interesting thing about it is we're seeing Chris as the hero, even though he started it. I want you to think about what's going on out there. If the response to, you know, bad behavior or inappropriate, whatever you want to call it, low frequency behavior, is ten times worse, the person who started it is going to be the hero in the eyes of the world. And you don't want that if somebody is starting something and they are trying to egg somebody else on to do something even worse so that they'll look good. Watch that. It's going on right now. So those of you who perpetrate bad uh, the, you know, rumors or misinformation, all that stuff, you do not want to be part of that. Because now you are being the Will Smith who's trying to make something worse so that we can respond in a much worse, horrible way to be the bad guys. I want you to stay steadfast and be a Chris Rock. Be like a rock, okay? A very interesting night. I hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel and share my videos because I think this is such a prime example on national television, well, global. It was seen around the world of something that was just so a uh, ticking time bomb with two parties that one defused it. We must operate in the same manner. Are you with me on this? It's going to take a lot because if you're the one taking it on and you're in a low frequency place, you've lost your sense of humor or you're angry and whatever, you will want to strike back. And however you hold yourself in a position of no participation is going to determine what happens at that moment afterwards. And so everybody could have looked at that joke later on and said, wow, Chris, that was really insensitive. But that's not how we're seeing it now. Same thing happens with you. It's going to take a lot because if you are in the lower frequency, if you are uh, hurt or angry and, you know, you're, you're not seeing the, the teachings and what you're experiencing and, you, you know, you're not finding the, the happiness and joy or the sense of humor, if you're not going in that space, you're going to be very sensitive to anything that goes on out there because... Who gets really upset, right? People that are in bad spaces. The boss comes in and yells at you not because he's a happy guy you know, or girl. They come in and yell because they're in a personally bad space. I want you to always remember that. Those people that are doing these things out there at a low frequency are coming from a very bad, egotistical, low frequency, fearful, power, control, that's all ego, space. So you don't want to react to that. You know, if your child throws a fit on the floor, you don't get on the floor and throw another fit. 
Well, some people do. <laughs> so, wow. Whew. If you saw it live, you know what I'm talking about. It was shocking. And you had to ask yourself if it was, uh, you know, put up or not. But after you saw Will Smith swearing, you realized this was real. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wow, okay, for one day, a couple days, we're not going to be thinking about all the other stuff going on out there. <laughs> all right, so these are free videos for those of you who want to uh, get training online. Check this out and see what it's all about. We're quitting jobs. We're, we're responding out there. We're taking, we're taking charge of our lives now. We're not blaming other people. And uh, down below, uh, I have free videos training for my personal trainings and that is manifest anything it's everything you think everything that you do you believe is creating your world somebody said there's only one reality and i thought well whose is it then because everybody has a different reality you know will smith had one reality uh jada had another one you know he laughs she doesn't chris rock had another one they're seeing the world differently and however you see the world determines your response it's just that simple so you have to change that to respond differently and see it differently as possibly something you could learn from. All right. Thanks for watching. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Let's learn from all this. Namaste.